Hi guys, how are you? We pray all is well. Welcome to the reader's page and the leader of this page is our daughter. But as a mom, I would like to share also one of my favorite books, Promises to Myself. And before I will share this book, please allow me to read my own letter. I did write something to myself. And I hope you too, you will write a love letter to yourself. It's very simple. And then I kept it here. I promised to myself that I will write a letter, a love letter to myself. Allow me to read it. Dear Teresa, how are you today? I know you are busy. I know you are praying now. It's because you said to yourself, every second we should pray. We should seek God first. Now, I only have one question to you. How are you? And please, be honest. Be candid and answer me now. How are you? Love, Teresa, yourself. Okay, I did write to myself. Most of the time when we see each other, when we bump our friends, it's been ages that we didn't see them, or even online, like us, when we do FaceTime, we always say, how are you? Or even when we start our day in the office, we'll say, how are you guys? But if we got up early in the morning, Okay, we thank God. We say, how are you, God? And me, I always say, how are you, God? My father, that he decided to go back to God and see him. And now I would like to ask myself. That's why I did write that love letter. Asking, how are you, Teresa? Me, honestly, I am very well. Just recently that I am very well. Because I accepted two things in my life. First, I said, let it go and let it come. There are things that I cannot control. And there are things that I should surrender to God. So I said, I let it go. I will forgive and I will let God. And I will surrender everything to him because he has the great control. And I trust him. Everything that he wanted to me is perfect. Best plan. If I only fully focused to his nature of love and care. And the second one. Why I feel well now. It's because I said to myself. My dad recently passed away. But he never left us. He never, never left us. He just went with God and be our angel. Ever since I accepted that, and I know he's always in my heart, that's why this is my favorite necklace, it reminds me that my dad, it's only in my heart. Every time I feel emotion, he's always there with me. Every time I feel happy, I know he's celebrating with me. And he prayed to God to bless me. To overwhelm me with his loving miracle promises. And every time I feel sad and down, my dad is there to cheer me up. And to remind me that God will never, never leave me and nor forsake me. And that every time I feel all alone and I need love. He is there. The saying, Bunso, youngest child, I love you forever unconditionally. And that's why my answer to my letter is, I am well. Because of those two things. When you seek God and you let Him to be the great control of our lives, we feel well and 
if we accepted that our loved ones now they are in heaven as our angels and we will tell to ourselves that they never never left us they just become our invisible invisible family members and become our angels we will feel well thank you guys i hope you love that love letter to myself and i'm encouraging you to please make time to write a love letter to yourself and you reply and then you start writing a letter to your families or loved ones may god bless us all thank you lord god amen